Oh, yeah. Hey, what's up, dudes? It's your boy. Me. And today we're going to be looking at something that we don't haven't heard anything about. The only way we can hear about it is if we call a crackhead. Call, 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 call a crackhead. That's right, guys. Let's take a look at the more interesting and whatever stuff that's been going on with the Twitter. What we are hearing from internal engineers is that critical teams, teams charged with the infrastructure that keeps Twitter going. And again, this is not just some company. This is the way that world leaders speak to each other. This is right. the way yeah. uh, that, that police get evacuation orders out, right? Oh, that God. site is in danger of going down because some of the critical teams in, t in charge of infrastructure are there, are, are supposedly walking right out of that place. Oh, Here's no. another important thing to understand at this hour, uh, yeah. Joshua, is that right now, as we understand it, an internal email went out to everyone it's been shared with our colleagues at cnbc saying we are shutting down the offices so the so that's what the mainstream media is saying okay and i say mainstream media because i'm a very interesting guy the reason i hate the mainstream media is because they are elites and they tell us what to do and what to believe that's why i support a billionaire with complete and total control over what we can say and do so let's stop all the negativity and let's take a look at some of the accomplishments that this guy has achieved over the past, whatever, couple days. Accomplishment number one, he has brought back the account of Dr. Jordan T. Dieterson Esquire. He's a clinical YouTuber. Finally, this goddamn guy has the freedom to bestow his wisdom, no, to bequeath. Let's be honest, it's bequeathing his wisdom upon us. Let's see what he's got. Oh, Lauren Southern crap he retweeted an anti-vax thing a thing about how climate change is fake a thing about how drag queens are bad okay great oh, and, and then a prager you retweet oh thank god you know when jordan peterson was not on twitter for this kind of information i had to call a crackhead call 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 Donald Trump's Twitter account is back. Who? Elon Musk reinstated the former president just minutes oh, ago. President, okay. This is President Trump's Twitter page here. Until wow. tonight, it had said account suspended. Earlier tonight, Musk posted a poll on Twitter asking bye bye. if people thought Donald Trump should be allowed back on the service. Oh, great way Musk to do said, it. Oh, baby. Bye, 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 bye. This guy's back. He's back to do this. Oh. And this. Oh. And this. And he does this. <laughs> his pants uh what do you make of this news yeah Let's... well i'm actually surprised brianna because per our conversation hmm. earlier i thought elon musk would wait until facebook made... okay so we got a media analyst on the line here she needs to analyze the kind of media she's creating with that phone connection thank you bye 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 <laughs> okay come on that's enough Pendejo. so this was one of the big excitements for a lot of people about uh what's this guy's name aaron musk bring uh owning twitter this was one of the big exciting things one of my favorite things about this is tim pool made a what is this tim pool made a thumbnail and i'll just read this elon musk files to buy twitter trump could return in days <laughs> that's how i read that trump could return in days and that i think that really sums up the feeling that a lot of people have it's almost like you picture a dog, you know, whose owner left to go to CVS or whatever, and the dog is shaking, spinning around with excitement because the owner is back. You know, the dog thinks it is said, ooh, food is secured for another day, the dog thinks. But that's what I think when I read that thumbnail. Oh, you know, oh, um, uh, looking through, you just see the dog's face through the window, ooh, ooh, tail going so quick, which is a very healthy relationship to a political figure. But hell yeah, mission accomplished. Like, like Jorge W. Bush, mission accomplished. This was one of the main goals of a, a, this guy, this wacky billionaire owning Twitter. He's going to bring Tr Donald Trump back. I hear we're getting a big vote to also go back on Twitter. Uh, I, I don't see it because I don't see any reason for it. Uh, Trump's comments came as some he's saying, bye bye. Twitter. We have a lot of problems at Twitter. You see what's going on at Bay make it it may not make it no. but I, the problems are incredible uh, the engagements are negative no oh. and you have a lot of bots and you have a lot of <laughs> fake accounts which bye i bye. think you should get on but truth social has taken the place for a lot of people and oh. i don't see them going your back own crap. to twitter that's your crap twitter. they're incredible i want to hear this uh, part the again engagements are uh, the engagements are negative <laughs> and you have a lot of the engagement you mean the replies you have people on there that being mean 
One guy, there's one guy in there called me an idiot. Can you believe that? And by the way, guys, Truth Social is worth joining uh, for the ads. This is a Truth Social sponsored truth. Always put a crayon in your wallet when traveling. Here's why. Oh, great. Won't it end up doing this? In the heat? What's this one? The Kid's Guide to Fighting Socialism. Oh, I do want to order that, actually. It's free? <coughs> wow. This is a real website, by the way. It's kidsfightsocialism.com. These are the kind of ads you see on Truth Social all, all day long. Oh, this one's looking real good. We got Mike Huckle, hi Huckleberry there. Oh, wow, great. Oh, he's looking real normal. Oh! Oh! Oh, here we go with another sponsored truth. It's the truth. It's spo is it sponsored? Yes, but it's still the truth. Wrap your car keys in foil at night when alone. When alone? You know, so if I, you know, I don't know, not to be, you know, did I bring somebody home with me? No foil? Got it, okay. Look, I, I'm 90 years old, and I am scared of technology mostly, so I'll do what you say. I'll do what you say. Honestly, I think it will get better, and the reason I think it will get better is because I, look who it actually, is. I actually believe yeah. a lot of these tech companies are wildly overstaffed. Oh, wow. There's Toilet. no way that Twitter needed 7,500 employees. Okay. That is not a thing that was necessary in the first place. How do you how do you know that? And thank God we have these newsmen and newswomen because how else would we know what's up, man? Somehow Ben Shapiro was like, I know how many people should work there. I have no idea what I'm talking about, but somehow they know how many people should work at this company and blah 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 all this crap. Then there was a bunch of this kind of thing. This is really interesting. They seem to really love this, but some of our beautiful newsmen are posting on Twitter this. So the caption says, Twitter before Elon versus Twitter after Elon. And before, it's a picture with a bunch of young women. After is a picture with a bunch of young guys. And one's holding a computer. People are really going crazy for this. Look at this reply. Notice the lack of Beckys. Ooh. Ooh, burn. After Elon told them they'd have to actually work and not drink espresso and take wine breaks on the roof after holding two meetings in one day. Oh, yes. Yeah, besides this whole thing just being kind of weird and not making any sense, uh, Twitter fired thousands of people, and there's like 30 people in these p pictures. So I, I guess like just mathematically, I don't understand what you're trying to do. I think probably what's really going on here is that this content is directed toward and created for people who are looking at it, you know, inside of a coffin. The strongest interpretation might be like, look at these people. These are just women. They don't know how to code. They don't know how to do. They're not software engineers. These ladies, look, there's no way they could be. They're all cute ladies. There's no way they're doing this software mainframe codes. And then we look at this picture, and those are the guys doing the software. And you just want to say to them, you know there's other parts of a business, right? Like, there's a legal department. There's like a communications department. Another funny thing about this is that uh, some of the best information we have about who's left the company or whatever comes from this Verge article where they actually, I'll just read this. Multiple, quote, critical, unquote, teams inside Twitter have now either completely or near completely resigned. That includes Twitter's traffic and front end teams that route engineering requests to the correct back end services. The team that maintains Twitter's core system libraries that every engineer at the company uses is also gone. You cannot run tr Twitter without this team, a departing employee said. Oh, this doesn't sound so great. But I'm 15 years past dead, and this lady on Twitter said, look, those people are having coffee all day. Several members of Twitter's, quote, command center team, a group of engineers that is on call 24-7 and acts as the clearinghouse for problems internally, also tweeted about their departures. If they go down, there is no one to call when S breaks. I mean, nothing here is too shocking. Slashing your uh, workforce a bunch, firing a bunch of people uh, to cut costs and all this stuff is, you know. And Twitter might survive this. None of that's too big. But what kind of a brain... <laughs> What kind of a brain are you working with that you look at this and you and it's oh that yeah, that makes that makes sense that makes sense look that before Ugh. Ugh. that before no 
And then that and the other picture. Yeah. There was a book written in the early 2000s called The Shallows. And the the whole premise of the book was like, oh, like the internet's kind of going to make a lot of people stupider because we're just like skimming across the surface of things rather than like when you read a book, you really understand the topic. And I was kind of like, eh, maybe. But when I look at stuff like this, it's like, you got to be a real dimwit to get, <laughs> oh, bad. It's basically just like you're grunting at the computer screen. Bad, those ladies, good guys. Oh, yeah, let's go back to our favorite and finest newsman, Tim Pool. He's been covering, he's been covering, I call it covering, because it's news. Okay, show it respect. He's been covering this. How many views? 315,000 views. Oh, great. What do I get? A tenth of that? That's because I'm a wor- that's because I'm worse and I lie more. So here we go. Let's watch. Twitter's not going anywhere. There may be some issues, but Elon Musk is cleaning house. Now, okay, fine. It's possible the website shuts down, but I really doubt it. Calm down. On the surface, Twitter may appear like a big, powerful website, but at its core, it's rather simple. (laughs) You don't need all these weird features. You don't need a human rights team. (laughs) How does that make sense? (laughs) And right now, you don't need a human rights team. (laughs) How does that make sense? How does that make sense? This is great. Our finest newsman. This is called Free Speech is Back. Free Speech Back. Elon restores Jordy Peterson and some other crap. But uh, this is especially funny that this thing is called Free Speech is Back. And he's like, why do they, why do they even need a human rights department? What, what does that make? Human rights department? That doesn't make it. Why do they need that? And I looked up what the human rights department is, at Twitter does or did. I guess it's gone now. I don't know. But uh, it was essentially a legal department where they would deal with people in other countries who were, you know, would get into trouble for tweeting something with their government or whatever. Yeah, that doesn't matter for free speech. Whoop, whoops. How does that make sense? Free speech is back. Free speech back. But no need to look that up. You know, you'll still have 315,000 views as opposed to my tenth of that. (laughs) No problem. It's basically violent crime. Violent crime. Makes me go like this. And then I go like this. <laughs> I'll tell Tim what he can do with those views. Wipe your ass with them. And then we have this brilliant transaction. Okay. Elon Musk says, what should Twitter do next? Oh. Next. 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 Uh-huh. One Twitter user says, bring back Alex Jones. And he says, no. <gasps> okay. Oh, God. I'm not a fan. Wow. Elon could have ignored it. <laughs> yeah. He could have said... Maybe he could have said not yet. Right. No. No, I'll be fair. We're looking at a major net positive with what Elon Musk is doing. Toilet. But saying no outright to this, I don't trust Elon. Yeah, I was trying to figure out why did Elon Musk bring back Jordy Peterson? But but then they're like, bring back Alex Jones. And he's like, no, because they basically got banned for the same thing, harassing people. Hey, don't touch me again, man. I'm asking you not to touch me. Well, sure, I'm just bad at you nicely. I know, but I don't want to be... T- I don't like and I think it really is... The difference is that Elon Musk probably thinks Jordan Peterson is... He's like a normal, smart guy, and he's on my side, and he likes me. And Alex Jones is just a crazy dummy. Ruby, I'll just threaten to physically take care of me. There are people who Look at feel that. that Alex Jones is just a dumb weirdo from Texas. That's, that's what Elon Musk thinks. I mean, in other words, it, the whole thing's just kind of at the whim of one guy who oh who could have predicted who could have predicted that he just do oh who could have predicted that he'll just do whatever he wants wow but uh, i'm I, I don't know if i'm gonna spend the eight bucks even for the verification badge now look initially i said I, I would pay eight bucks for expanded services right but elon musk came out and said he's not gonna reinstate alex jones <laughs> and he said it rather definitively <laughs> look you don't have to like uh, so alex jones was... but under the rules of oh, so the na- no eight bucks now you don't put <laughs> Don't put Alex Jones back on Twitter. It's not about letting insane people ruin the this platform so that people like Tim can make more money. No, it's about getting these ideas out there. And we need to get a... ideas. If people don't hear these ideas, we all, you know, we all f***ed up. Speaking of which, Kanye's back. And he writes, Shalom. Ah, oh, great, Kanye. That's okay. I could say anti I could say anti-Semitic things. things. Oh, this guy's a real interesting character, Michael Tracy. 
Michael Tracy. He sounds like this. So he quote tweets the Kanye West thing, and then he goes, if you can't laugh at this, you're the one with the problem. (laughs) This guy, Michael Tracy, I think would starve to death without Twitter. Like, I think his his job is like, I say stupid stuff, and people get mad, and then so it goes, I go up in the the algorithm. (laughs) What's a stupid thing I could say, and then everybody will say, you're stupid, in the comments, and then it'll be... Oh, look at all the engagement, and then I go up. Hey, what do you do for a living? What's your job? Well, I think of what's the stupidest thing to say. Yeah, but that's pretty much the report. It's all pretty cool, normal people being really chill and cool. Uh, And then then there's this, which I don't even know how to... Well, at least it can't get any weirder than that, right? You really are pretty damn funny, Mr. Musk. (laughs) boy. Yeah, really cool bunch of people to have in charge of the thing. Yeah. <laughs> good job. And then just when I was thinking, oh, this guy can't get any weirder. This guy can't get any weirder. Uh, I see this. Sam Harris. You know, Sam Harris, he's like this. This is Sam Harris. Uh, today we're... <laughs> uh, philosophy. Uh, That's Sam Harris. They call him the Mouth Mike King. But Sammy Harris says... Is it time to let Alex Jones back on Twitter, Elon Musk? If not, why not? The question. Hey, don't touch me again, man. To be fair to Sammy Harris, I think he's he's anti. He wants more regulation on Twitter. So here comes Elon Musk back. <laughs> Here's what he says. Super normal. He's definitely getting a lot of work done, too, with all his tweeting. Suffer little children and forbid them not. To come unto me, for of such is the kingdom of heaven. Oh, boy. It's just like I instinctually say, yeah, I gotta go, man. I gotta, oh, I got a text message. I gotta go. It's my mom is here to pick me up. I gotta go, man. So there we go, guys. A little look into the biggest slash stupidest story that's been going on for the past Uh, who cares hope you're doing good guys another monday what do we say about that wipe your ass with them love you guys thank you so much for watching this and as always what do we say bye 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 CK Louis. Oh, hey guys. Guess what? You're not even getting the whole show. If you want every episode and a whole bunch of other sh**, subscribe on Patreon. Subscribe on Patreon for as little as two bones. Just click the stupid little link below the video in the comments. See right there. There you go. Click it and that. Yep. When you become a patron for as little as two bones, you get the Tuesday, Thursday, patron-only episodes. Ah! You also get the weekly book oblega show where we talk about important books. The questions and comments th- th- thing where you can ask questions and make comments and all this crap. And the weekly behind-the-scenes show. All for less than the price of a rancid Charleston chew. And for only 25 putrid little dollars, you could become a producer. That's right, support the show and get your name up here. Look at these people. Look at these, these people, it make the show possible, okay? God. I mean, without these beautiful people, this show goes straight into the dumpster. A rotten, you know, just wet, disgusting dumpster, you know, behind a restaurant. So it's, there's old milk in there. That's where this show ends up without these people. Is that what you want? Okay, I guess it's okay. No, I guess it's what you want. I'll just leave. No, 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 it's done. It's too late. Okay? Okay? Here we go. Here's the dump truck. Here's the dump truck. Come to pick up the show. This is what would happen with no producers. Thank you.